Hi, this is Chris Croft with the Ishtanga Workshop Podcast. So the warrior sequence. Inhale, lift the arms, gaze to the thumbs, drop the shoulders, and exhale, fold forwards from the waist. Bend the knees where you need to, ground the hands, drop the head. Inhale, extend, lift, look up and lengthen, take weight in the hands, and as you exhale, try to jump or step back and lower down. Inhale, roll into your up dog, expand and lift the chest and exhale, draw your hips up into your down dog position. From here, spring forwards, and as you land, Utkatasana, so sweep the arms, keep the knees and feet together, drop the sit bones, the hands come together above the heart, the shoulders drop back again. So try to imagine that you're sitting on an imaginary stool. Your legs are firm, quads switched on, soft gaze, shoulders dropping down the back, breathing deep. So it's a strong pose, Try to find a soft breath. And then as you exhale, fold forwards. Ground the hands once more, drop the head. Take weight in the hands. Inhale, extend, lift. Look up and lengthen, lengthen the front body. And as you exhale, jumping or stepping back and lowering down. Inhale, expand, lift and open the heart into your up dog. And as you exhale, draw the navel up and back to the down dog. Set the feet and Virabhadrasana, step the right foot inhale reach for the sky so it's a deep lunge from the back foot across the front of the left hip again drop the shoulders try to keep the thumbs above the heart and the right knee over the right ankle if you feel any strain or crunching in the lower back try to drop the tailbone down and draw the pubic bone in firm lower abdominals soft gaze towards the thumbs and five good inhale straighten the leg exhale pivot the heels to face the other other way bending the left knee for the second side. Again, if you're crunching in the lower back, try to drop the tailbone down a little. Feel the lunge from the back foot across the front of the right thigh. And five. Warrior two. Inhale, roll the right hip back. Bring the hands level with the shoulders. So the torso opens out to the side, but you're gazing along your left arm towards your left fingers. Try to keep the left knee over the left ankle. You'll find as you roll the back hip away that it'll want to roll to the inside of the foot. Feel the groin stretch. Try to keep the spine upright with the head balanced on top of the spine and the shoulders dropping away. So the inhale brings you up. The exhale, let the heels pivot. Be careful not to shorten the stance here, bending the right knee. So again, the arms are level with the shoulders. The heart is expanding, just as in the up dog position with the shoulders dropping down and back. The drishti is to the right fingers and the left hip is rolling back. Strong legs and then ground the hands down on the exhale, control descent back and down into your chaturanga position. Inhale up dog, open the heart and exhale down dog, drawing the lower navel in, finding yourself soft with the breath and then spring forwards, try to cross the ankles, bring the feet through and lower down on the exhale.